Did you know that Lineage 2 servers are making money out of you? I do. In this video, I'm gonna make a hell of a long rant about Lineage 2 private servers, Lineage Reborn and all other popular Lineage 2 servers. So if you want to keep playing on private servers, I recommend you not watching this video. If you're curious, watch this video. I may open up your mind. How private servers are making money, they are making you choose the server they're making you donate to server and as per term in every country in this planet earth if you are donating something donation itself is an act of a goodwill where you expect nothing in return and if you are receiving something back it's not a donation it's a trade and trade itself where it applies as money exchange therefore you are buying something from the server, you're getting back something from the server. Server holders, server, so in, in private servers planet, the way they're, they are acting is you are donating real money, you are getting back some sort of a coins or specific items. Now, those items can be exchanged for in-game goods, and there you have it. You have an in-game corruption, disbalance, and even though Everyone is saying that I am playing on the number one safest server on the planet, Lineage 2 Reborn, everything is non-corrupt, everything is super, super silky smooth safe. Um, the fact is that you can't expect nothing in return. There are numerous cases where people accounts are stolen. You can't expect people to steal other people accounts. Uh, server creation community is such a huge deal that it's no wonder that server admins could sell your data, your personal data to marketing companies, to some, I don't know, um, hackers, exploiters, some other folks that just want to, to download database filled with email addresses, names, last names and password. So they could uh, use massive exploits or massive encryptions. There was cases of the servers that was straightforward installing viruses on your computer and pretending that it's part of the launcher for Lineage to private server. There was even examples of, of the game servers that installed uh, miners into your computers so that meanwhile, while you are playing the game, you are expected to donate for some VIP extra uh, percentage of loot that you can get or auto pickup. At the very same time, there's some percentage of your GPU during which you are passively mining coins for someone else. There's various of examples of creativity and um, use of you as a consumer if you are playing on private servers. I think it's not only me who is aware of this. This is a new thing that if something is free, you are the product. This is not a quote that I have created. This is not what I have thought of. This is already existing quote. And I, I strongly strong stay by that. I personally have played a lot of games and I still do. And I try to play the games where I'm being respected as, as a player and my time is being respected as a player as well. I know that in current state of the game, in Lineage 2 official, it's very hard to see this, this pattern where you are being respected as a player, as I really see that the, the game itself, as well as the community, really downgraded. But um, nevertheless, going to the very core of the game and playing on private servers, it's not wrong, it's straight up like you're harming yourself. I don't honestly see pattern why you should be doing that at all. Playing on Lineage 2 private servers is not only you, not only allowing you to be uh, exploited, your personal data to be stolen, your email to be accessible for various companies and various marketing campaigns that you cannot get rid of and servers that are placed offshore, they're not being regulated. Um, they can't really be stopped. Once they have your data, they have the, your data. I can tell even 
on my last server that I played, I played on Lineage Reborn. Um, this server has... I, I played on Lineage Reborn, and in Lineage Reborn, uh, I was very passionate about this private server. I thought that, okay, this is going to be my very last uh, Lineage 2 server that I'm going to be playing on. I have asked ad admins, do they want a free promotion through the videos that I'm placing on YouTube channel? They said, no, we are not taking any promotion. We are not taking, we are not giving anything for promotion. We are absolutely free and uh, we are not promoting any sort of goods to as a giveaway. And they turned me down. They didn't want a promotion. And a couple of days later, I noticed that uh, my videos that I had uh, created for them as a promotion was stolen from my channel. My video that I promoted the server in which I liked the server and said that, okay, this is an awesome, awesome server to play in. The, the video is called, is it worth playing on um, Lineage 2 Reborn server? Is it too late to start? That video was stolen twice. First, it was published on the Reborn server Facebook page. Then this video was posted on their, uh, their YouTube channel where they straight up just steal people content, people's content and label it as their own. I don't agree with that. My permission was never asked, so I had to contact Facebook support, I had to contact uh, YouTube support and the videos got taken down. I think on the screen you can see the information about this now. And the fact that uh, I understand that this is a free promotion from them, that they are, first of all, Facebook. They're adding my content without my permission to their page as a free promotion and they're getting money off of me as they're receiving donations, they're receiving um, additional purchases within the game, which is literally illegal. And even I had my Twitch taken down because of this server. But that didn't stop them. They placed the video on, on YouTube, the channel that is monetized. And every time they... I think it was like 4,000 views or something. And I know that Lineage community is not so great. In comparison, the Lineage community that speaks uh, English, not, not Russian only, uh, the community is not so great. And having this many viewership, Besides the fact that they even uh, place the video on Discord as their own, uh, it just it was just shocking to me that on each and every view that people would be clicking, they would be receiving money. And the fact that I asked for uh, for additional content that I could create as a, as a paid sponsorship for them, they turned me down and instead they twisted it and still stole the content and used it on their own. It uh, it was bizarre, really. I was never expecting such a backlash and such a slap in the face that that happened. I remember that during that time, even uh, one guy has posted a, a long video, like 70 minutes long, about reborn server administrators that they're corrupt, they're doing selfish things, they're doing real money transfers on their own and uh, this is not a surprise factor uh, to me. I really, I can't relate to the video itself um, but I will be placing this video in, in, in for you to see on the screen but I can't really tell you that uh, I can personally relate to the video. However, the fact that people are are showing real money transfers between administrators and the people that are playing the game is true and it's a fact. There's the guy, he's called Manfred. I found out about this guy like, I don't know, maybe half a year ago I saw the video. So in this video he states that in early days of Lineage, what he, not only in Lineage, in a lot of games what he did, he, uh, he hacked into, into the games, he exploited the um, the store in which he would purchase item for one price and sell the item for other price. So let's just uh, use an example. He buys some sort of stuff for 100 Adina and sells that same stuff for 700 million Adina or 
or something like that. He creates infinite money that he uses to sell on, on third party Adena selling shops. Those, gold, uh, those shops called the uh, uh, gold seller websites, there are plenty of websites that sell Adena, sell gold, sell items on various of private servers. It doesn't really matter how old the server is, most likely those sites exist. And uh, it's, it's no secret that those sites pay you for, for gold if they're available to, to purchase gold for you. But in most cases, they're not going to accept the gold from you because uh, their only single purpose is to sell gold. And how can you sell gold in a private server? Well, of course, administrators. Just think of this. Administrators that are having the server run completely free and is enabling you to donate for server which is as perfect is illegal itself is restricting you to buying any sort of items through third party stores restricting you and this not allowing you to exchange your uh, your characters or sell your account for real money however those are the same administrators are selling adina to third party stores and sending back you those that Adina, those or that, I don't know the the, the differentiate. And at some point, when you get too greedy, you become too famous, too popular. Um, they may decide just okay, it's enough for this guy. We're gonna ban him. We're gonna remove the account. And you, do you know what what thing can stop them? Nothing. The thing is, it's a private server. The server runs on. On illegal license the server is not regulated by any law all the money that you placed in purchasing anything from the gold sellers is illegal uh, it's created some virtual demand for virtual goods that don't physically exist it's even worse than buying an NFTs playing on private servers and such thing influences you in every way where for example if you're playing playing on the server and I remember this happened on uh, RPG Club, this happened on Averia servers, and this happened on Reborn servers as well. You join the party, and the party has some sort of a VIP uh, section, a VIP rule set. And if you are not premium, if, if you're not paying for your account, you are not receiving full experience amount or full drop amount full gold amount uh, that you can get from monsters so this kind of creates your incentive to okay this is only this amount of gold i'm going to invest my money into it and i'm gonna buy it but in reality is that purchasing such things is is not even wrong but it's never guaranteed that you're gonna get something in return or when such thing will end or ever end. Now, I know that in Reborn, in this particular case, you have option to vote for, for server. Do you know what kind of uh, websites are there? It's the websites that is created by servers themselves and run by servers themselves. And there are even there are companies that are creating top list websites and making really good money out of it you can notice russian streamers are constantly promoting uh, i think it's lineage l2 hop website and the thing is that guy is owning that top site and if you're not aware uh, all of the top sites that you can access regards to private service i'm going to be speaking about lineage to only have all of this flashy promos that if you join this week uh, on first week you're gonna have a um, cash bonus or a new server opening in this server you will have this and this option and you access the server you see very same um, community the community is toxic it's tired it's old guys playing the very same game very same corruption the very same items and if you're not aware, and I know that some of you are not, the admins are 
play, are paying people so they could join in the server, take down the castle, and administrators is paying people so they could so they could play in the server, dominate the server, and show that um, show other part of community that there's something that they could fight for, so they would be in the number one spot. So you you automatically become addicted in this sort of uh, gambling gambling sort of way that you want to fight to be number one. But in reality, just imagine the thing. In RPG Club, I remember there's like uh, items that give you additional weight that you can uh, carry on, like additional shots, uh, buffs later on, or just nonsense items. The fact that you are a player in the server, you are getting paid money to play on the server, you, you're getting paid to, to play in, in a huge CP by one party, like 30 people or something, right? And administrator is giving you free items uh, so that you would stay online, exp, like XP boosts, um, XP trinkets, uh, buff scrolls, uh, available spots, potentially teleports, or just uh, buffs, just just for you, is absolute nonsense. And if you're play, if you're on other part of the game and you're joining the server, you're seeing this. Oh, the server is super active. I wonder, hmm, what if I invest like five dollars or ten dollars or euros, whatever. And would this get me a little bit of uh, advantage against others? And later on you find out that such thing was never a factor and such thing never existed. As, as long as you're gonna play this game and you're gonna play on private servers, there's gonna be one thing that you cannot control. And you can't really control against whom you're fighting. It can be administrator, it can be GM, it can be GM paid off party. Or a single member, a single friend that you're fighting. Like infinite stats. The person can't die. Um, bugs that only affa affect you. Um, exploits that is made for that particular person good. You can't really know what you're fighting against. I'm not even speaking about the potential availability of, uh, of bots that you can purchase. So that you could run on private servers. Just... Imagine the, the, the craziness that you can not only you need to donate to play in private server so that you would be uh, in, in any sort of way competitive so that you could take down castles, get money, but uh, forget about Olympia, forget about like normal PvP fairness in, in high, high levels. That's not gonna happen. But I'm saying... You need, not also you need, you, you have also available options so that you could go to the website, uh, purchase a bot that would play uh, on behalf of you on a server and more bot licenses, more bot accounts you can have. So you can have a constantly running party that is making you money. And uh, of course, it's being against the private server rules. And it's, it's, it's bizarre that illegal servers are restricting players on playing however they want. I'm not up for cheating, but the game itself is stolen. And you're expecting people to play a stolen game fairly, where the corruption is the very core of the gameplay. I also understood one fact where... Um, if you go to a website, I don't really recall the name, I'm gonna add in the images as, as we speak after the recording of this video, but I'm not too sure if you're aware or not, but not all of the servers can be hacked by a certain bots. Oh, I remember that, it's Adrenaline Bot. And not all of the servers can be hacked by Adrenaline Bot and um, connected to. Do you know what's the reason behind it? It's uh, administrator pays adrenaline bot users so they would not add a connection well established connection to that server so that for a certain period of time the server would not have uh, enabled bots isn't that crazy 
So admins who are running illegal server is paying off uh, illegal, Ill illegal bots so that uh, they would not run on their servers. So they would collect as much money as possible. And as per usual, we all know lineage to, so I'm speaking about the server lifecycle. So server opens, huge hype. Everyone's starting, everyone's uh, fighting, all cool. So all cool and all. And then at some point you say, okay, weekend's over. I'm gonna take a chill pill, I'm gonna work, return on another weekend. And every weekend you return to the game, you see less and less and less people. And you see like top people who are uh, still playing the game, but uh, they're no longer fighting or they're only focusing on Olympiad and slowly server starts to die. By die, I don't really mean like exactly goes kaput, but the server populations uh, starts fading. Only offline shops starts to appear. You can't really start seeing people available on uh, on various um, partying zones. It's only like several, like 30 or 40 people and the rest of the several hundred is just offline shops within the towns. It's crazy, right? And just imagine from the point of server creator, you purchased uh, modified illegal files so that you could run the server. You purchased um, a server name, domain, hosting. Uh, you purchased marketing through the Hobzone or other trading sites that promote that server has opened and uh, wow, you, you need as much hype as possible and you did that and it was successful. It was a very successful launch for, launch for a server for like two or three weeks. But now, instead of you receiving like uh, several, several thousand a day from donations, you are receiving like uh, none or five dollars. So you as a server creator, what you can do, you simply say the hell with you, close the server, rename the server, change the icons of the GM shop, change the NPCs that are selling you selling those items, a little bit change the prices, open up a new website, and here we go. In two weeks time, you announce that you're starting a new server. And that's it. The, every single player that has been in this situation can understand and can relate that this is so frustrating that trust in and belief in every private server has dropped so rapidly that not only you can uh, avoid such servers and you still hope that such good servers still exist and, and you need to find the good server and then you can play the game for as long as you wish as long as you like because there's still a chance that there's still a chance that a good server is gonna exist that there is a good server right and the fact that there's not gonna be any it's it's super damaging it's it's very hard to take and i know personally for me um, I wanted to make a video, do I miss the lineage, but it's, it's just, you can't miss the thing that, that's, well, you can't miss the thing that builds you, but you can't really say I want to repeat it over and over and over again. Lineage Reborn has the same client that was released like years before normal games started coming out. And the fact that people are still playing, I, I checked Twitch. No one's playing Lineage. No one. It's leave this game alone. Let it let it rot. Let it die. Like there's so many games that you can influence and and advance and have fun, have fun, have awesome communities in. And the fact that you are sticking with the very same game, playing on private servers, jumping from one server to another, it's it's like playing Counter-Strike. You go in, you create your character, you kill two people, three people, then server closes. What? You need to download server client again, uh, you go to another server, uh, you play there, uh, the server gets shut down, you download like, another client again and again and again and again. And it could be normal if it would be a Counter-Strike server. 
or any sort of shooter, but it's not a Counter-Strike server. Every sort of client that you download is most likely infected by, by the mal malware or malware. Malware, sorry. And is some sort of tro Trojan horse. I know that Valhalla Age server is, uh, is one that I played. I really enjoyed, but the fact that at some point um, I needed to pay money to, to transfer the class. Oh man, it, it was just, just crazy. Very, very strange fact is that when I remember I was even launching the game, my antivirus got automatically blasted and then saying that, what the hell are you launching? It's the straight up virus. I had to place the game into ignore list uh, of my antivirus so game would launch. And I remember back in the day, like, I don't know, some, I don't know, years ago. I tried launching my lineage to private server on my own. Just downloaded random files, launched the server on my um, own IP without any promotion or anything. Just tested, is it possible for me to launch the server? It was possible. It is straight up easy. I'm not talking about promotions or anything, but there was no triggers regards to viruses, ignoring antiviruses or anti-cheat engines it's it's crazy it's messed up how people are trying to legalize illegal things it's like they're they're giving you i don't know it's just illegal it's wrong i'm not saying that official version of lineage 2 is any better the guys have made the game worse than ever i, I believe that even the mobile version is better even though it's filled with the uh, pay to win mechanics but uh, the fact that PC version of the official game is such a garbage and it's it just uh, you have client that plays the game for you and all you need to do is just sit there and uh, gain weight. It's, it's nonsense. I understand that older clients of the game is better. But the fact that you will never have to play this game ever again, it's, it's a fact and, and it's a thing that you need to understand and live on i'm not trying to convince you to to stop playing private servers but i'm i'm giving you like additional thought and so you could just think in your head is it really worth it as i personally remember i have played on so many private servers and i have so many mixed memories some are toxic some are horrible i still met a lot of friends that I communicate up till this day in regards to the game and good uh, good topics and good uh, good communications and things that we went through but overall we all agree on one thing the game is toxic it's super consuming um, your time it will consume your family time you can't really dedicate time for anything else besides the game and the game has nothing to offer in return. It just gives you Pixel and Adina. And if this would be an official server, if in any case, you could ask at some point like, okay, this is too much or this is crazy. I want my money back so, so that uh, you can explain yourself why you want your money back and you get your money back. In private servers, you get nothing. You have your time wasted. You have your time sucked and you have nothing to show for. I can tell you I was very lucky that I was able to make a make couple of videos that enabled me this uh, video creation. But this has nothing to do with the server. The server itself, the administration. I have even logged on through the new year so I could give out my items to, to my friend. And I... I it was mind-numbingly blowing and mind-blowing to me that I saw the Christmas uh, Christmas tree and Christmas event is like you could you need to collect four pieces of, of something that you can have a full Christmas tree and it's so bizarre it's so so crazy that I remember like, I don't know, like 7 years or, or 10 years ago, I played on Lineage 2 Teon. And even back then, during Christmas, such events was 
so evolved and made so complex that it was interesting to play the game. But the fact that the server administrators is doing as little effort as possible to maintain you in the game and uh, assuming that we're gonna give you the classic version of the game and pretending that it's okay, it's accepted and this is the new standard of the game. It's, uh, it's, it's unexpected and it's mind-blowing for me to, 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 to see it really. It's this low effort to, to, to give to players to keep them maintained and keep them playing. Just, it's crazy. Do you expect like, do you expect to go to casino or not casino, to, to carnival and you go to very same um, carousel every single day the, the same carousel will not be maintained, will not be renewed, will not be recolored. There's not going to be any, any sort of new promotion. There's going to be one coloring. If it's going to be rusty, there's going to be a re-rusting and that's it. You are set to go for, I don't know, 200 years, right? You would go insane. The server is meant to, to just give you everything that is uh, core classic, no updates. No involvements, no engagements, nothing, and um, at the end you just uh, donate some cash and, and quit. I'm so I'm, I'm re regretting very much that I have spent and I spent uh, I don't know how much I spent. I think I spent like maybe like twenty euros or, or something like that on the game. Most of the money that I received was through the through the Reborn server promotion, and I'm super super uh, regretting of that as per now. All of the links that I was promoting registration and the server, I have removed those links. I have changed those links to G2A.com promotion, where I advertise it's better to buy any other game rather than playing on Lineage 2 Reborn or any other server. So um, yeah. I think uh, this is something that I wanted to, to, to share with you. This was a very heavy rant. I'm not sure that you can relate. Um, yeah. I have a lot of good memories about the game. But when I think about it, it was never good memories about the game. It was about very specific people that I met in the game and it was like 1% of people. Lineage 2 servers is making money out of you. Don't be fooled. Don't be tricked by Lineage Reborn. Quit before you're, you're too late. Sell your account. Do anything. Don't play the game. Buy Lineage. I'm out.